y'all, what's up, man? It's your boy Jay, aka the strategy, aka Mama. There goes that man again, aka I'm so disrespectful, aka the man by many names. And you're tuning in to another Walking Dead review show. How you guys doing? Before I get into uh, this episode, I just want to say somebody hit me up and was like, Jay, why don't you do um, the first episode? Well, I did do the first episode, but like YouTube fashion, YouTube fucked up and didn't load it up, and now it won't let me load it back up unless I do something to the video. Let's talk about this episode of The Walking Dead. So this episode starts off with, um, with the last episode showed us a little bit more, we got a little bit more backstory about Michonne, and we saw Rick and Carl go through some things, some father and son things, but this episode shows more of, uh, of Daryl and Maggie's little sister, and um, it shows them actually like leaving the prison. And it starts off with them running, just running, they're 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 running. They're running some more, and they're running some more. They're running until they collapse. They eventually collapse, and um, Maggie's little sister like, hey, we gotta go, we gotta go back, we gotta go find them, you're a tracker, we gotta find them. And Daryl looks kinda uh, beaten in a sense. I've never seen Daryl, even when he killed his brother, I didn't see him act like this, and he's like, what for you know hey and you know maggie's little sister's like hey my dad said as long as you got hope you know it's gonna be we're gonna be able to find him so she's like you can track we're gonna go find him and he just kind of looked at her. she's like well fuck you if you don't want to help me i'll do it myself so she goes off he follows her uh they do find some tracks to where some people were walking and whatnot so they follow the tracks and come to find out uh, it leads them to um, some people who got slaughtered by some walkers. For a minute there, I did kind of think like they were going to find some people from the group because Michonne did find Rick and Carl in the last episode. So it, it, it looks like the group is going to constantly find one another. Um, so they found some people, but it wasn't their people. It was some people who had got fucking slaughtered by some walkers, ate by some walkers. And... Um, you know, uh, Maggie's little sister, she, she's crying her eyes out, and Daryl just looks back, and he's like, and he, he keeps walking. Uh, it just kind of show you the state of mind that Daryl's in. Um, and I just thought, personally, since the last episode focused just on Rick, Carl, and Michonne, that they were just going to like kind of do a couple of characters at once. They actually, in this episode, show where the entire rest of the group is. Um, Shortly after we see where um, Maggie's little sister and uh, Daryl is doing, they fast forward to uh, Maggie uh, and Tyrese. Uh, no, they no, my bad. They fast forward to Tyrese and the kids, and they're walking along. And at first, I thought it was just the kids, but then all of a sudden, we see Tyrese, and then he turns around and guess who he has? He has Rick's daughter. Now I told y'all, little ass kicker. I told people from the jump, I don't think they were gonna kill off Rick's daughter. Don't get me wrong. I do believe at some point in time they're going to kill off the daughter because they have to. But I don't think they were going to do it in a, in a mid-season finale. It was They're going to probably say that to like a, a season finale or something. So they're walking and he turns around and he has Rick's daughter and I'm like, whoa. <sighs> yes. So it's the two little girls and it's Tyrese and Rick's daughter and they're basically they're running through the woods or whatnot and you know the baby's crying and he's trying to feed the baby he's trying to protect them but it's one thing that Tyrese did in this episode that I didn't like okay some part where during the episode uh Tyrese hears somebody screaming in the background and he's like you know I gotta go help it might be somebody from the group so he leaves the two girls alone with the baby and I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, why can't you just take them along with you, let them stay outside and hide where, where you can get to them faster in case you gotta run. But he leaves them in the middle of the fucking woods, and I'm like, that is so stupid. You are you may be going to help somebody in a group. You don't know that for sure, but you're abandoning two children to go help people that you don't know may even not be with your group. I didn't like that. So he faced him face back to back. He gave the oldest girl the baby, and he gave the youngest girl the gun. And the young this girl is scared out of her mind and she's she's asking him please don't leave us and he's like i gotta go you guys can handle it so the baby's crying because it's a baby and the oldest girl the youngest girl is nervous and she's like listen i can't do this you have to keep her quiet or the, the walkers are here 
So the older girl, you know, which I told y'all from Jump Street, she's the one who was like skinning the rabbits and shit and leaving them out there for the walkers. I'm telling you, it was her, and I don't care what anybody say, it is her. So the oldest girl's like, I'll shut her up. So she starts to cover her mouth and she starts like to smother her. I told you that girl is fucked up in the head. So she starts smothering her while walkers are coming and she's so in a trance of killing this baby that she doesn't see the walkers coming. Her little sister's shooting at him. She's like, what do I do? What do I do? Her little sister refused to run and abandon her sister. So I'm like, oh my goodness, they're gonna die. Meanwhile, Tyrese is, um, makes it to where he hears the screams and like I thought it was, it wasn't even people who were in that fucking group. Uh, so, He's fighting, trying to save them when he abandoned two people from his group. I thought that was absolutely asinine. So, we heard shots, he heard shots, and instead of him running back to see if the girls were okay, he kept fighting to save these two. One of the per people were already bitten, and uh, the other one was getting eaten alive. It was a lost cause. I don't even know why he stayed. The moment he heard the shot, he should have ran back, but he didn't. And then, like, he realizes after everyone's dead and bitten, I gotta get back to the girls. Then he turns around, guess who's there? right ladies and gentlemen Carla's back Carla had the baby and she saved the two girls and she thought she she was surprised to see Tyrese and he, Tyrese walked up and hugged her and she's like oh my god why why is he fucking hugging me okay I don't think that I, if you recall correctly I don't think that Daryl and Tyrese got around I mean Daryl and Rick got around to telling Tyrese that it was actually Carla who murdered his sweetheart so he's like, you know, we, I didn't see you make it out. She's like, listen, I didn't even come back to the prison. And I don't think she's going to tell him either. And um, so one of the guys that Tyrese saved said, listen, stay on the tracks and keep going forward, okay? It's a safe place. Trust me. It's a safe place. Just keep it. So they start walking on the tracks, and I was like, wow. So Carla's back in the shit. Uh... I, I didn't see that coming. Um, baby Judas is alive. I, I did see that coming though because I, I knew Tyrese would have grabbed her on his way to save the girls. So I'm like, wow. So I thought the episode was going to focus on uh, uh, Maggie's little sister, Daryl, Tyrese, Carla, and the girls, Baby Judas. It didn't. It jumps to another set of characters, uh, Maggie and uh, her group, and she's on a mission to find Glenn. And. I thought that was kind of stupid because she's like, listen, I got to find the bus. And I thought, you know, hey, that was kind of dumb. But everybody's emotional and everybody just wants to hold on to something. So she and her little group set off to go to the bus. They find the bus. Everybody on the bus is dead. And I was, Glenn Body wasn't in the bus. And I was like, wow, Glenn Body wasn't in the bus. Where the fuck is Glenn? So then they shoot over to Glenn and it turns out Glenn got off the bus. We're looking for Maggie. Glenn never left the prison. He fell out on top of the fucking little thing looking for Maggie. He never left the prison. He was unconscious. The prison swarmed by walkers. I didn't think Glenn was going to fucking make it because when he woke up, walkers were like trying to nip at him. The prison swarmed by walkers. Glenn, he, he, he gathers himself together. He goes and he, um, he goes and he, uh, uh, he goes and he, he packs up his shit. He gets everybody's stuff because he gets um, baby food. He grabs all this shit because he's like, somebody has to be alive. Daughter of, uh, I forget the name, or the other side. He saves her. They go, uh, you know, she was like, hey, I don't deserve to be saved. I was part of the, I'm the person, I'm, I, I was part of the group that did this. And Glenn is like, I know you were. And then he like took her gun. He's like, you never even fired a fucking shot. And she was like, it doesn't matter. I'm still a part of the group that did this. Glenn was like, I, he's like, you're coming with me. So Glenn takes it. She's like, why do you need my help? You know, he lied to us. He told us that you all were bad people. And I can tell that you aren't bad people. And he was like, listen, I don't want your help. I need your help. So walkers start coming up. 
Glenn takes care of him, but people gotta realize that Glenn is still kind of sick. He's not 100%. Uh, when the battle kicked off, he was still like in bed resting up from the illness that they had. And um, and he falls unconscious. <laughs> so she fights off the rest of the walker and then this truck pulls up with uh, this guy called Abraham. Uh, my friends read the comic books and it's like, you're gonna like Abraham. So this truck with this guy named Abraham pulls up and he has this little posse and click and the episode ended okay what do i think is going to happen next well slowly but surely the group is finding one another and uh is 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 i, I want to see where this safe haven place is because apparently it's like some safe haven place where everybody where tyrese group is going and apparently daryl and them are going to go there too because daryl and uh, maggie's little sister also are walking on the train tracks matter of fact the people who daryl found that the walkers had ate were the people tyrese tried to save so i'm interested i'm 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 i'm, I'm, I'm i want to know what's going to happen next uh what do i think is going to happen next i think eventually everybody's going to end up in a safe haven uh I'm, I'm anxious to see what do Rick and Michonne get into um, because they did focus a lot on Rick and Michonne and Carl because keep in mind they got their whole episode and Michonne was actually the only person that got a flashback got some insights to what she did and what her life was before now because you know, hey, I, I'm, I'm, I, so I'm inch, very interested to see the next episode. So you guys leave a comment. Tell me what y'all going to think. For the people who inbox me, asking me why don't I leave comments no more. YouTube won't let me leave comments unless I change my name or open up a new Google account for uh, my U YouTube channel. And my answer to YouTube is fuck you. I'm not doing none of that. So I'm not leaving any more comments in the uh, uh, on the videos if you want to talk hit up the inbox man so that's gonna do it for me man i'm signing off sorry you guys didn't get the first episode so it is what it is i'm signing off i'll see y'all next sunday konnichiwa bitches